What's up guys, my name is Walter Hinchman. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Swolverine. Today, we're gonna to talk about the differences between beta alanine and citrulline malate. So, what is citrulline malate? Citrulline malate is a non-essential amino acid which is mixed with malic acid. Citrulline is derived from melons and malic acid is derived from fruits or apples. When you put these two together, they have a really, really good synergistic kind of effect. So citrulline malate will help you with increasing your nitric oxide, with your ATP production, so you get better energy levels. And it's going to help you with your uh, recovery process, right, um, from the nitric oxide that you're getting and, and promoting. And it's also going to help with amino acid utilization and muscle protein synthesis. So a lot of really good benefits with citrulline malate. The one cool thing about citrulline malate is that you're going to find this ingredient in a lot of different pre-workout supplements and it's gonna be dosed around two to five grams. So you wanna make sure you're getting at least five grams every single time you're supplementing with citrulline malate. You're also gonna find another ingredient called beta alanine. So beta alanine, which I have right here, is really, really cool product as well. It works a little bit differently than citrulline malate. What beta alanine does is that it's a lactic acid buffer. Beta alanine mixes with another amino acid called L-histidine and it creates what's called a dipeptide carnosine. The more carnosine content you have, the better you can buffer lactic acid, meaning that you can go harder, go longer, increase your rep volume, increase your strength, and have better performance in the gym. When you mix these two together at an optimal clinical dose, you're gonna have much better performance in the gym, and you're gonna have a lot better performance indicators for whatever competitive sport that you're involved in. So if that's gonna be cycling, if it's going to be rowing, if it's CrossFit, if it's strength, if you're a bodybuilder, whatever it may be, you're gonna increase your rep volume, you're going to increase your, your optimal recovery times. You're gonna just have overall better performance by mixing these two ingredients together. That's why a lot of pre-workout supplements will put them in the same product. The differences between the two, the biggest difference is how they work, the mechanisms of action. Number one, like I said, citrulline malate is going to help you with your ATP production, so it's going to boost your power and your strength and your speed. Number two, citrulline malate has an ability to increase your muscle protein synthesis, so helping build and rebuild muscle mass. Beta alanine is going to help lactic acid buffering, so when you hit that wall, hit that lactate threshold, you're going to be able to overcome that and get a higher rep volume to increase your endurance and your outcomes, okay? Both of these supplements are vegan, which is awesome. Uh, they're unflavored, 100 servings, meaning that you get a lot of um, bang for your buck and a lot of value there. So where do you get these supplements? Go to www.swolverine.com, uh, purchase from there. We can also purchase from one of our exclusive retailers like bodybuilding.com, GNC, or muscleandstrength.com. A lot of great information on the blog as well. Anything about health, nutrition, wellness, supplements, whatever you may think about, you can find it at our blog. And make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel right here. All right? See you guys later. Thanks for listening.